This is Twit. Surface Pro no longer numbered, although this yep. would be five, right? Yeah, I think they yep. are acknowledging a couple of things. One, that it's not a big enough update to warrant a, a, a number, <laughs> you know, and a Surface Pro 4.2 doesn't sound very good. Um, but also that, you know, Microsoft's other Surface products don't have numbers. And if you look down the list, this kind of fits in better uh, with the branding scheme that they have now. So yeah. it makes some sense. So I want to leave if you scroll back up, I want to point something out in their uh, stock imagery here. Yes. And this I'm gonna <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go ahead and ruin this image for everybody listening. Yeah. Does that bird not look like it's getting shot in the head? Oh God. Oh, you just ruined it. Are you <laughs> yep. saying that's blood splatter? It it oh. looks like a Call of Duty headshot. That's oh, that's my all God. I said I hate sit you. still. I hate you, Brad Sims. I hate you. But, you know, I yeah. already have that in my mind because that glowing window that is the default uh, uh, mm -hmm. Windows 10 looks to, has always looked to me like a basement window. Like I'm, yeah. I'm in the basement mm -hmm. looking yeah. up at the right. little... This is the last light you're ever going to see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Enjoy. easy to spoil these, uh, these uh, desktop wallpapers permanently. Yep. I, I'm going to tell you my, most, uh, in, my happiest uh, feature of this new thing, which is mm -hmm. it's got the kickstand, but the kickstand now can be yeah. arbitrary angles, including that 18-degree mm -hmm. angle that my beloved Surface Studio So the funny has. thing is, you know, I, anyone I think would agree it's kind of a minor update in many ways, and yet there are a list of things that make this thing very interesting. Yeah. Right? One is the thing you just said. It goes yeah. back, I think, 169 degrees, so it gives you that Surface Studio mode. And if you see what that looks like in a picture, it's really far back. Um, yeah, almost too cool. flat, I thought. But you don't have yeah, but you're if not you want stuck it, there, are you? I mean, is it smooth? No, oh, no, no. It's a smooth, variable okay. hinge. You know, you can go to any anywhere in between. Um, the Surface Dial works on the screen, uh, which is the first non-Surface Studio device for that to be the case. Um, they'll be releasing firmware updates, I think, for Surface Pro 4 and Surface Book that will enable that feature. Oh, really? Um, yeah. It's supported by a new Surface Pen that doesn't actually come with it, um, which is an acknowledgement of how few people do actually use the pen. But for those who do, uh, the pen is really important, and the pen includes a bunch of extra features, including um, four times the pressure sensitivity, a tilt feature, so you can do the kind of smudge thing like you would with a pencil or a crayon. Um, uh, I think it was double the accuracy and much lower latency, meaning that ah. as you press the, you know, the pen to the glass, it feels more like writing on paper. There's less of a little bit of a lag. But the thing I just read today, which is really interesting to me, and this is the, the what Microsoft didn't say bit, or didn't say enough, is. That when you have this combination of things, and you have to have all three of them for it to work, um, the new Surface Pro, the new Surface Pen, and then the Windows 10 Creators Update, which of course comes with the Surface Pro, you'll actually get much better performance with that pen than you will if you use the new Surface Pro with a different pen, or like an older pen, the old Surface Pro with the new pen, right? Because there's actually special hardware in the Surface Pro, the new one, that hardware accelerates uh, ink interaction in Windows 10. So I, so, can't, that, so I can't use that new pen with my Creative Studio, my Surface Studio. No, no, you can. You but just won't, won't get, get the, the same. Yeah. Right. Well, you'll get the other benefits. I mean, oh, you'll okay. still get the pressure sensitivity and all that stuff. But what you won't get is that low latency. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously future Surface devices will no doubt include this technology. But mm. they're kind of doing that Apple thing where there's a custom chipset in there. Yep. And they're literally hardware accelerating. Yep. Windows Smart. Inc. for the first time. Yeah, really, I didn't think interesting. the latency was bad uh, before. No, I don't think anyone did. But, yeah, right. but you know, the, uh, it's, it's better it's as always It's one of the things better. artists really care a lot about. Yeah, and, and uh, unfortunately for Microsoft, it's one. It's a thing that's hard to communicate visually because if you watch videos of the pen writing on this device, it actually looks like it's lagging. Yeah, And uh, it's not in real life, but there's something about when you record the video of it, it just doesn't match somehow no it I feels can't. very real time although uh, again i'm not an artist and a lot of people tell me that the uh that the apple pencil which is the main competition yeah, yep. for this is mm -hmm. a little less latent a little more direct yeah drive. and by the way that's been my experience as well in fact yeah. you know anyone who's a surface owner should go to an apple store sometime and just try that out it's a little disarming in a way because uh, you pick that thing up and it, it does have a very natural feel and yeah. I, I i'm microsoft is now claiming that the new Surface Pen, when used with this new Surface Pro, is in fact the, the fastest electronic pen. Uh, I haven't tested it, we, so I 
you know, I don't have an opinion. I did for that, think but. it was interesting. Microsoft compared this new Surface Pro more to the iPad Pro than they did to another laptop. Yeah, because they have a laptop yeah. now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although, by the way, that's the other big change, right? I mean, they're yeah. marketing this as a laptop, which is not exactly the original marketing. No, it, the most versatile laptop is what they're calling it, which it used to be the tablet that could replace your laptop. Now it's the most yep. versatile laptop, but it's a versatile laptop that ships without a keyboard. So uh, <laughs> the messaging yep. there is a little, a little, <laughs> a little, off. A little uh, less than versatile. I think they're trying to make everything as consistent as possible. But also, uh, you know, in Microsoft, this has been one of the big stories this year, um, how pragmatic this company is when it comes to just accepting what people are doing, right? So you saw all the mobile stuff from Build where they kind of embrace Android and iOS in new ways. Um, this is a case of them just embracing what the customers actually do. It's like, look, most people don't use the pen. We're not going to include it. Most people actually use this thing like a laptop. Well, we're just going to, it's a laptop then. You know, we're just going right. to, yeah. that's, we're just going to accept that. Right, right. And I believe they told us uh, it was only 30% of their users are actually using that pen. So it's a really small, I mean, percentage, 30% yeah, of how many of them are selling. Me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, but really, though, I mean, I mean, other than people who are drawing every day, what benefit does the pen offer that your finger doesn't? I mean, most right. people might use it just to tap on the screen a little bit or sign once. But for the, the vast majority of yep. people, you can just tap <laughs> on that screen and get the exact same input as yeah. that pen. Yeah. So they're, they're not including so, it. We actually started to see that shift at the end of the Surface Pro 4 lifecycle, too. They started offering SKUs without the pen. So, yeah. And I bet that was maybe an experiment to see if how that sure. changed yeah, things. Yeah, what the so reaction what was. Yeah. People kind of liked it. Yeah. Um, Brad, this is probably true for you as well. Um, we had to sign an NDA for the Surface Pro. Pro, which is very unusual these days. And yeah. I signed mine on my Surface Book <laughs> using, <laughs> Have fun. using a Surface Pen. Have fun. But in one of life's great coincidences, um, I don't really, I don't use Surface Pen. I know this is a point of some contention with some people, but I just don't really have much of a use for it. And yesterday I was editing a graphic on the Surface Book. And what I needed to do was move this line in, you know, over a very, in a very finite kind of a way. And even with the mouse, it was just kind of a struggle. And then I thought, wait a minute. I bet I could use the pen for this, and actually, it worked. <laughs> it worked pretty great. 